Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be guiding you through the rebuilding of uh, Blower Assembly in KTAV5. So throughout the series I'll be using the workbenches like Part Design, Assembly Design, Generator, Shape Design workbenches. So to start off I'm going to work with the Part Design workbench. So here you're going to create the motor of the Blower Assembly. So to, uh, I'll just uh, select I'll invoke a plane. So these are the drawings for the, uh, you know, for the uh, uh, motor creation so let's see let's refer each dimensions and start uh, creating so I'll just start with this particular part right here and this is the thickness of it so the thickness is 6.5 so I'll invoke a circle and just uh, start creating I'll do the mirror Unwanted uh, lines right here. Give the dimension for the circle as uh, as you can see. This dimension is 3.5 radius. That is 3.5. So it has become small. You don't have to worry. Just pull it up. Okay. And uh, give this particular dimension right here. This is 12 and uh, as you can see this particular height right here is 6.75 okay and once that is done come out of the sketch and do padding so mirror extent of uh, the thickness 6.5 so uh, if it's mirror extent it's going to be 6.5 divided by 2 mirror extent so and again now you have completed this particular portion right here this one and now you need to create this particular part right here so now I'm going to select this particular plane and uh, do an offset plane reverse direction and my plane is going to lie from this particular face right here to this particular point so it's going to be 9 okay and click OK and I'm going to invoke this plane and uh, select a circle and insert the circle and uh, give the diameter no, dim diameter of 10 and come out of the sketch and do a padding of uh, this thickness right here it's 0.5 so you have your uh, part being created now let me insert a hole on that so my hole will lie somewhere over here and let me give the dimension for the hole so it is uh, 0.75 there are three holes of 0.75 so I can use a circular pattern for that so before that let me give the dimensioning that is lying uh, you know it's lying on this particular circle which, which is dimensioned as 8.5 so I'll give 8.5 divided by 2 so I'll come out of the sketch and I'll do a hole of up to next okay uh, so in the next tutorials tutorial you'll be seeing the circular pattern creation and the remaining uh, steps to be done to complete this uh, motor drawing so I hope you enjoyed keep watching thank you